Imagine this scenario. You wake up in the morning. It's dark outside and you're still half asleep. You stick your legs out from your bed and lower them onto the floor. Brrr. It's icy cold on the soles of your feet. You feel something soft brush up against your shin. Oh, it's your cat asking for his breakfast. Aww. You start towards the stove to make your early morning coffee. A flick of the match, turn of a knob, and your coffee is bubbling away. You can feel the pleasant warmth radiating from the kettle in your hands. Suddenly, you drift into a daydream and stick your finger right into the flame. OK, maybe you've had better mornings, but take a moment to think just how amazing it is that you managed to experience so many sensations within a couple of minutes. It's all thanks to the largest organ in your body, the skin. But how do you wire such a huge surface area with so many different types of sensations? The solution the body has come up with is really rather ingenious. The surface of the body, or the skin, is divided into small sections that each have a guardian spinal nerve which is responsible for the innovation to that area. So what do you say? Shall we learn more about this clever arrangement? Well then stay with me while we explore the dermatomes. All right, folks, I know you're itching to learn all about dermatomes, but let's quickly run through what we'll be looking at in this tutorial. First, I want to start with the basics and have a little recap on an important group of structures known as the spinal nerves, which play an essential part in mapping out the innervation of the skin. We'll then move on to learn more about what dermatomes are, how they work, or perhaps why they don't always work, and we'll introduce you to a couple of different dermatome maps. We'll then work our way through the dermatomes of the axial structures, so the head and the torso, then move on to the limbs. We'll then whiz through a couple of important landmarks associated with each dermatome when the dermatome map is unavailable, and we'll finish up by having a look at some clinical notes, which will hopefully prove to you just how useful the system is in diagnostic medicine. What do you say? Shall we get cracking? What we're looking at here is the posterior aspect of the spinal cord as it sits within the vertebral canal, with spinal nerves branching away from it. These spinal nerves course to all the peripheral regions of the body, providing both sensory and motor innervation to the trunk wall, head and neck, and of course our limbs. Most relevant to us today, of course, is their role in the innervation of the majority of the skin of the body, with the exception being certain areas of the face which are innervated by branches of the fifth cranial nerve, the trigeminal nerve. To refresh your memory, we have eight cervical, 12 thoracic, five lumbar, and five sacral spinal nerves. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.